Hey, so my next video in my moon series is the moon in Leo. So what does it mean to have the moon in the fiery sign of Leo? So one thing that I've seen with different Leo moons in my life and in my practice is that there's almost this need to be seen, to be appreciated. Um, Leo moons are people who, it's not like necessarily in a narcissistic way, but they, they really like being appreciated for what they've done they leo is a science all about this creative self-expression like really going deep within yourself and finding that authentic self-expression so people who have leo their karma is to is to be learning to do this be, be like learning to really go deep within and find who you truly are if it's through art if it's through any type of expression so um it's not I, I I think Leos are very it's a very big misconception. I mean you're seeing the guy wearing the Leo sweatshirt right now, even though it's on my ascendant. Um but it's it's looked at by some people as narcissistic, but really that's their karma. Like they need to shine. People who have Leo need to shine. So on an emotional level, they're likely to also be people who are very warm, generous, innately confident. Um it's also a fixed sign implying um consistency and perseverance on an emotional level. And also, when they love, they love intensely. Um, they can be very, very loyal in their in their level of support. Also, very energetic. So if you got a Leo Moon, you're a firecracker. Um, you have that like fire in your in your soul, that fire, you know, that underlying fire. Um, and you may, you know, be ready to shine this abundance of emotional warmth to, towards, you know, anyone or told, you know, mostly towards the people that that are there for you and that have shown their loyalty to you. So also the fact that everyone knows that Leo is associated with royalty. So um, there's people say that Leo moons um, tend to possess this solar quality in their emotion, in their emotions, excuse me, radiating, radiating um, like these benevolent and kind of very striking um, emotions. And they can also, so it can have like a two edged sword. Like they can be very, very loyal to those who are there for them, but, the people who go against them, there can be this uh, this striking out. Um, and there's also an innate sense of dignity um, where you expect a certain level of treatment and respect from others. It kind of comes from the whole royalty thing. You kind of, ex like, it can be, I don't want to use the word entitlement, but, you know, it can, it can happen with some Leos. Um, it also leads to lavish taste. Um, where you're feeling most comfortable and surrounded by people and situations, you feel reflect your own image of yourself. So that's a big one. So what else? So instinctively, you're likely to feel very strong emotions with Leo Moon. Leo Moon, um, very passionate, intense, um, they expressive. It can be dramatic and creative. Um, dramatic um, in that there can be outlashes, right? Obviously, all different parts of the chart, um, you know, there's other considerations in the chart, but that's definitely a big thing. Um, so, yeah, a big thing for Leo Moons is to find a way to create, uh, it's basically like instead of seeking the external validation, finding out how you can go within and find that internally. How can you be someone who, um, through your own creativity, through your own, like, your own ability to go within and find these different sources, how can you be someone that doesn't rely on external validation? Because part of the shadow of Leo is this obsession with being famous or being like the, you know, the, the center of attention and all that. And I think that's just a misconception. There are shadows of every side. I think that one just gets uh, really pushed down. So also it's a... Um, it's a very romantic sign. It's all about fun. The fifth house is the house of Leo, and that's about fun, romance. So it's just very, it just, it's, it's just, yeah. Anyone with a Leo moon or Leo sun or Leo sun is just someone that's fun to be around, jovial and, um, yeah, just action oriented people that are just overall that I love. <laughs> um, and also the last thing I'll say is uh, leadership can be extremely. Um, important and they can be people who are natural exec executives and leaders and um yeah so like it's all about just getting past that pride and really just finding it within yourself and like for example like instead of like one thing with leo it's like imagine like you're like okay um 
why would I make this painting right now if it's not going to be the biggest painting in the world? So part of the quest for Leo is like to be able to go within and say, even if no one sees this painting, I'm still going to do it because it's going to be therapeutic. It's going to help me understand myself on a deeper level. Anyways, that's my five-minute spiel about Leo Moon. Um, let me know in the comments if I forgot anything or left anything out. If you have any questions, anything, I'm here to answer. It's been I love sharing this information with you. And I also love constructive criticism. Like, um, it's a five-minute video. So, like, I, I guarantee you in, like, a few hours, I'm going to think back and, like, wow, I forgot so much important stuff about Leo Moon. But I'm really just trying to, like, kind of, you know, improvise and, and uh, see what comes out. So cool. Thanks so much. And I will post a new video right now because I'm going and doing them all in a row.